and we live, y'all. Episode 71. This one's a little different, y'all. I'm pulling up on my man, Mac Jovi. We're talking about what's going on. He's got some big moves coming. He's moving to Georgia. Hey, I'll let him talk to you himself. But basically, we're pulling up, doing a follow-up interview. I had him on, uh, was it, shit, it seems like forever ago now, but definitely one of those artists where you really, really got to, you got to soak in what he's saying, man. A lot, a lot of, a lot of R&B vibes from the 90s, from the 2000s, like, this man's, this man's a real, real nice artist. And what's crazy is he's, he's taking his talents elsewhere, and he's, he's possibly stepping out of the game, so, hey, we're here, so... The man's a the man's a music kind of sewer. Every time I pull up, he's always playing some music. And hey, I don't expect nothing different. Mac Jovi, y'all, episode seventy one. I hope he's here. Somebody's here. Somebody's here. Hey, yo, yo, yo. what it do? <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> hey, I told y'all, man. It's going to be a good show. It's going to be a good show. Tuesday's going all crazy. You know it's going to be a good-ass good, good ass time. Let's get this thing started, y'all. Too. We dropped that September 17th, uh, 2021. Uh, me and my homeboy Bank Road G. Shout out to uh, Bank Road G. Um, I, think I think it's nine songs on there. Ten? Ten songs? Yeah, ten. All of them fire. All of them. All of them fire, bro. Um, we even got a video out, You Say, uh, out now on the Trenches page. Uh, Mac Jovi, Bank Road G, You Say. Uh, it's the number two track on there. Hell yeah. So it's fire, bro. Hey, y'all go check that out. Man. So just, just basically just indulging on this grown man shit too, then. Yeah, hey, grown man shit too was that was uh what I was working on, and then I'm also working on uh, um a new solo project uh, called Thoughts and Feelings. Oh shit! Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it, is, this, to... is this uh coming out this year? Yeah, it's gonna be dropping. Hey, this that's year. what I'm talking about. <laughs> it's gonna be dropping this year. Yeah, it's gonna be dropping this year. When uh, when can we expect that? Uh, time like summertime? Uh yeah yeah probably top of the summer. Top of the summer. Top of the summer right? Yeah. I like that. Got a few more tracks we working on, but yeah, it's album comes done. Most of the tracks done is, is hitting right now, man. Uh, yeah, maybe you might sample something for us later. <laughs> Definitely. So yeah, so uh, last time I talked to you, we was we was talking about Georgia, man. T t tell tell the people what's going on with Georgia. Uh, I'm gonna move, man. Let Michigan go, man. I'm gonna just uh, start a new life and do something down south, man. I know the thrifting about that, but oh yeah, crazy. man, you already know, man. It's thrifting I got on nine. That's all we do. Always stays fresh. <laughs> I'm telling you, this man is a is a real, real, real do. fashion connoisseur. Yeah, definitely, y'all. Follow me on TikTok and Mac Jovi Ten if y'all want to see some fashion, man. Always some drips in the in yeah, the in the yeah. drive. But I'm telling you, some crazy, crazy fits he puts yeah. together. I need to come out at you again too, man. man it's been, it's, some tease. it's been a minute. <laughs> uh, tomorrow we're gonna be in Holland. Okay, yeah, yeah. Holland, Holland Michigan, okay. uh, Mitten Vintage. It's going to be a good-ass time. I seen you there last year. Yeah. Yeah, okay, yeah. Yep, Definitely got to come out there. We're gonna, everything in our booth is going to be 10 bucks or less. Oh, yeah, I'm with that. I'm yeah. coming out there. Yeah, we're going crazy. Yeah, I, got, I got rollerblades. I got fucking VHS. What date is Is that on Saturday? Uh, this, one's this one's tomorrow. Oh, that's tomorrow. That's Sunday. Yeah, uh, but our event that we're hosting, Tri City Vintage, that's April 10th. Ah, okay, okay. That's Sunday, right. that's too. It's a Sunday okay. as well. That's dope, man. Huh? It's going to be crazy. Yeah. Yeah, that shit kind of came about just so beautifully. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Good. Like, had had this vision and just put it on paper. We did I see, did you, uh, I think I actually, you guys actually sent me one of the flyers, too. I checked that out. That was yeah. pretty dope, bro. Yeah. It's going to be crazy. Yeah. I was going to, I was going to ask you, I don't know, uh, what, what you got planned for, but okay. if you'll be here April 10th, we might be able to fucking, uh, get you a, get you a spot. Like to perform? Yeah. 
And I'm always down to perform. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, get my homeboy Bankroll G. Yeah. Get my homeboy Sauce Guy Sensei. Yeah. That'd be lit. Yeah, That'd be I'd lit. Do that. Yeah, definitely. I'm with that. Yeah, I wish, uh, man, we got we got some shit coming for the summer. It's like uh, volume two, three, and four. It's going to be June, July, and August shows. Bro, I like the way you move, man. You always got something going on. It's got always to. something, no got matter to. what it is. If it's fashion, podcast, or something, you always move, and that's what I like about you. So I got to gotta give my man a shout out for that, man. Appreciate it, man. Go ahead. But yeah, we're here to talk. We're here to talk about you, man. Okay. Uh, talk about, just talk about, you know, being from Saginaw. What, what does being from Saginaw mean to you? Uh, man, so first of all, I'm, I'm from Saginaw. I grew up on... Uh, the Buena Vista Township side was short for BV there, everybody know. Um, just coming up here, man, and uh, then moved over to the east side in my later years. Um, it's been a, a hell of an experience, man. I, I've seen a lot of good. I've seen a lot of bad. A lot of homies got killed. Um, a lot of homies got out. Um, a lot of different jobs, a lot of different high schools, experiences and stuff like that, man. Um, Real small place, man. You can get yourself hurt around here, but at the same time, if you, you know, stay out the way, stay positive, you can also do something positive in the city. So, I mean, Saginaw means a lot to me, but at the same time, I think that it's time for me to yeah, just <laughs> elevate, transition. Elevate, yeah, keep, transition keep, keep out of the sag. Yeah, it's, it's time to go. It's time yeah, to go. I'm definitely going to have to come visit you down in Georgia. Oh, man, bro, it's a spot. I got a room for you, everything, man. You There's come a, down here. There's a crazy, yeah. crazy tattoo artist. He's probably, I'd say, top two in like the country. Yo, you gonna hook me up with him? Is uh, is Doug Leaf? Oh yeah, we gonna have to check him out. He's in Evans, Evans, Georgia. Okay. Yeah, so uh, I don't know where that is. It's kind of by Savannah area. Yeah, we get that's okay. So that's like three hours from like the area I'll be in. But when it come down, we definitely can check that yeah, out. I'm always down. You know, I'm down for ink. Yeah, he's yeah. he's a quality quality artist for sure. Okay, yeah, I'm definitely down for that. But yeah, what's what besides that? What's been new? Um, just building, bro. Like, uh, I got a got a company I'm building. Um, that's the whole reason why I'm transitioning down to Georgia. Yeah, stuff like that. I'm still. What's uh, the company name? Uh, it's called Fast Pace. Fast Pace. Fast Pace. Yeah, I'm doing that. Um, I actually got um some more producing and engineering that I'm doing. Uh, still down there. Um, hooking up with my boy J two. Uh, the real gym. Um, that's something I'm working on. Um, There's a lot of moving pieces right now. Yeah, man, it's a lot. Uh, shout out to my boy South Sky Sensei. I'm a that's new, that, he was on the track. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's actually my little Fire. cousin. Fire. That's actually my little cousin. He just dropped the album, man. Y'all go get that, man. Yo, speaking of uh, <laughs> your people, uh, there was like a list that somebody shared, and Gino Four X was uh, number one on that list. Yeah, man. Yeah, he was he was number one. Said, uh, Gino, man. It was like top top uh top young artist or top artist in Saginaw and it was, he was number one. Yeah, free I was like, Gino. Oh man. shit. Gino's actually locked up right now. Yeah. Man. Yeah, he got some time, man. Oh shit. Yeah, it's a lot of time. Uh Damn. hopefully I'm we just praying that he can, you know, come out of it, man. So yeah, free Gino four times, man. Definitely. Free Gino. Definitely four times. definitely working, a young artist. We was working on his second album, man. We didn't get to finish it, but yeah, free Gino four times, man. Crazy. Yeah. Crazy. Definitely, definitely keep your head up. Definitely. definitely, man. It was crazy. I just, I just learned the other day that uh, they're giving people iPods and I- iPads in jail. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm like, yeah. damn, that's dope. Yeah, he actually did. If I could ever get a hold of that uh, recording from his sister, he actually did a song while he was in jail. Like, yeah, yeah he did like over the phone for her and stuff like oh, that. Oh, that's so, lit. Yeah, I gotta get you that footage, bro. Yeah, that's that's yeah. dope. I gotta get you. That. That's a documentary stuff yeah. right there. Once again, man, free Gino full time. Man. Facts, free Gino. Free Gino, man. Um, Sixteen years old. Damn, yeah, yeah. It's it's crazy because I remember we were gonna have him on the podcast. Yeah, I know, and then, I know, man. And then uh, I think Buddy was end up being there. Yeah, Buddy. Yeah, shout out to Mid Individuals. Yes. Yeah. Uh, ever since I've ever since you put me on him, I'm like, man, I just been like, that is that dude's a real yeah, fucking. He, he's he's a real boom. scientist with this shit. He's booming right now. Everybody. I mean, he's even doing video. He did videos with Louis. Ray. Yeah, Snapdog. Y and J. Yeah, he had Snapdog. He got a lot of footage under his belt right now. Yeah. Yep, and then he uh he clicked up with trenches too. So yeah, yeah, he with the team. Yeah, that's lit. I, I love I love seeing just in general all about the support. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, definitely. Because it, it's just full circle. This shit really is full yeah, fucking definitely. circle. Yeah, bro. And I I got definitely I definitely got to get Sauce God on with you, man. Yeah, 
Yeah. Yeah, we gonna have to check him out. Man. That's crazy. Yeah. You, so that literally, like we said before, this this talent shit, it don't fall far from the tree. No, no, it don't fall. This is this this my family. This telling you dope, bro. You gotta check him out, man. Sauce guy sensei, man. Cause he, who's got the fashion on lock? You or him? Oh, that's a tough one. Cause he likes it. He just into the fashion like me too. Yeah. Yeah, man. He like we. He grew up looking up to me on the fashion side, and then he did his own thing. Now he got his own. He got his own fashion sense to it now. Like yeah, dude, dope though, bro. That's yeah. lit. Yeah. That's lit. I'm not, we gonna have to play some of his. Yeah, we we'll definitely too. have to play. Yeah. yeah, let's. Without further ado, man, let's play, let's open something up. Yeah, okay. let's uh play something for us. What you what you want to hear? Um, well, I got a I got a playlist. Uh, the first song, okay, you know, Georgia. But we we could definitely play some of uh we could play the first song you you mentioned or. Okay. Um, let me see. I got one that I'm, you want me to play the new release? Yeah, you can play the new release. Okay. He, he sent it to me earlier. Y'all yeah. definitely got to hear this it's one. It's a song um, that I got called Sneaky Link off the upcoming project, Thoughts and Feelings. This is the first single. Y'all hearing it here first. Hey, FTP Live, baby. <laughs> because nobody heard it besides the people that was uh, participating on the song and people who was in the video. So it's featuring my homeboy, Zay, uh, Zay Biz, Sauce Guy Sensei, and my homeboy from my uh, Trenches Camp, One Take. So uh, here we go. Uh, yeah, I do not own the rights to this music, YouTube. Don't be on my ass. Oh, no, no, that's cool. I own the rights. So there you, you go. Can, you know whatever what I'm you want with it. Yeah. You my sneaky link, you the only one, no, I can't lie Rockin' Louis V, it's just you and me, she like my pussy You know she bad as fuck, and her pussy wet, so I'ma die A nigga mad as fuck, cause I'm in her guts, but he ain't stuck You don't wanna have it callin' I don't fuck with hoes, cause they be talkin' Lay off my direction, ain't no talkin' Better be but naked when I walkin' That's my sneaky link Yeah. 
that, that when I first heard that shit, I was like, damn, that shit almost sounded like hints of like some Don Tolliver shit. Like, oh man, bro, you know that, I appreciate that. I listen yeah, to Don, bro. Yeah, like when I that's when I, like when I first heard that shit, I was like, man, that shit was that shit was gas. Appreciate that, bro. And we made that like I I first originally it was supposed to be me and Zay. Um, as I was playing it though, I called Sauce God on the phone. I was like, bro, check this out. And he heard it. He was like. Damn, he put like, me on that shit. He was like, bro, I like, yeah, you already know. He he uh he came through and as he was coming over, one take pulled up and I'm like, yo, take you want to get on this too? And it was just like magic, bro. Damn, Zay didn't even record his verse first. It it went like I did mine and then Sauce got and then one take and then Zay like we. It was, it, just, it was just meant to be. Yeah, bro, it was just we arranged that shit. It was so cold, man. We was in here chilling that whole day, and then uh, we actually shot the video here too. Damn, so you did everything in a day? No, well, we didn't do the video uh, until a week later. Okay. But um, shout out to all the models that was in the video, too. Uh, we had uh, China Abraham, uh, Kayla McMillan, and then we had Missy Goodman, and then we had Tila. Um, so shout out to all them, man. Hell yeah, man. Yeah, and shout out to Men Visuals for shooting it, bro. A deep, deep yeah. catalog, for yeah, real. I'm telling you, man. I love it. And, uh, China, China Abraham actually just dropped a movie called Just Sex with uh, LP. Oh, yeah, yeah, with uh, yeah. LP, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Pearson. Yeah, she was the, the star. In oh, the movie. shit. Yeah, yep. Damn. And she, she jumped, she, she, she uh, got in my video and stuff. We go back, we uh, went to middle school and uh, high school together. That's lit. Yeah. Yeah, it pays to have talented friends, man. It yeah. does. And um, I, I actually did uh, a couple songs on Lorenzo's project. Oh, for real? Yeah, on that, on that movie, Just Sex. I had two songs in that movie. Damn. Yep. See, I learned I learned about that movie from Becca when she said that she had like a, a yeah, song. Yeah, yep, Becca, I did. And then the songs I wrote for Becca was in that movie too. Really? So Damn. yeah, I had, like, I was all through the movie. That's lit, that's yeah. lit. Yep. See, I think it's Shout like, out to Becca too, man. Yeah, shout out, shout out the whole team. She's <laughs> going to be the main event for Volume 1. What? Yeah. Oh yeah, I got to come check that out. Oh yeah, really? Volume 1, April 10th, she's going to she's gonna be the main event, so. Oh yeah, I'm with that. Yeah. I'll definitely come through and do a couple songs, man. It's literally like 30 artists coming before her, and then she's the 31st artist to finish it. Off. That's dope. Yeah. That's dope. We went nuts for this one. Bro, I like this, bro. Yeah. I really like what you're doing, man. Yeah, we get we, we going nuts. It's I feel like this city really I like love that. <laughs> uh, Kansas. Yeah, I'm gonna buy that for you when you get up. <laughs> yeah, I gotta I, when I when we get up here, I gotta show you this uh this track we made in the studio. Oh, yeah, that I can't shit, wait to hear it. That shit was wild. How we can listen, listen with all camera, man. You can put I, it. Yeah, yeah. Can play. Yeah, I'll I'll have to send it to you. Yeah. But uh yeah, it's called No Breaks, uh, All Gas, No Breaks. Okay. And, literally, and literally, it was just like, it was inspired. I think when I told you, uh, my buddy was talking about, you know, that 400 followers shit, and, you know, wanting like, you know, hundreds of thousands and shit. I'm like, man, that yeah. shit's overrated. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. there's a lot of people out here that, you know, don't aren't getting the cloud. They make fire ass content. It's all know? about it's all about who hear it, bro. It's like some people. It could be it could be two people that hear it, but if that right person hear it, it could change your life. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, I, I, I feel I felt the same in the beginning. But I don't care who hear about me, and I'm one of the most known singers, even yeah. though that my views ain't. There is skyrocket. nobody in my yeah. opinion that's 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 yeah. doing R and B to the level that you're doing. I like, appreciate that. Man. I, I, ain't, I ain't heard nobody in the entire Midwest that's doing this shit I like you are, that, bro. For real. I really do. I appreciate that, man. That means a lot to me, man. Well, we gotta talk about something else that's life changing. That fucking that roller coaster, that that fucking that ride, bro. That shit was life changing for me. That was a um a fourteen year old kid. Uh, in Florida, right? Yeah, I, I'm, I'm kind of upset with the company. Yeah, who put him on a roller coaster because they knew he was too big. They didn't have nobody checking around no, the no, shit. No. He was, he was, he should have been weight like he was too heavy. And it's, it's not that he was fat yeah. or anything. But he was just a solid kid. Yeah, he was big. He was huge. And um, it's a weight limit, and it's like a size limit. And um, the results happened. He went up in the air and he came down and landed flat on his face. Now. This 14-year-old kid uh, is dead, and his mother got to deal with all this. Um, his video going around on the internet and everything, it's just sad, man. Like, stuff like this is sad, bro. I, I actually hate um, social media when it gets to this. Right. Because um, his mom got to see that over and over. Over and over again. She never let that down. So, yeah, man, RIP to him, and um, my condolences to his family. Facts. That was a tragedy, bro, and um, I'm gonna be honest. I don't want to ride roller coasters. No that's, what I, that's what I yeah. said. We were, me and my wife was talking about this. Like, Bro, if it's not a water ride or yeah. something just nice, I, I mean, I don't want to do it no more, man. It's just, for me, you yeah. know what I'm saying, just my heart, um, and my heart goes out to his family and stuff like that. And since I can't support 
or help in no other way, I'ma just stay off roller coasters. That's just the yeah. Like, I wouldn't. I wouldn't, bro. It's just I feel like it's just an unnecessary risk. Yeah, it know? was so Final Destination type. Yeah. I was like, this is like it was crazy. Terrible. This is like this is a, a tragedy, bro. That's like tragic. It was terrible. Yeah, it, so. it literally like my wife and I were literally like, man. I'm like hugging my kids a little yeah. tighter, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, that was just like, and then the sound effect, like that's what really threw yeah. me. Yeah, I was like, I'm just glad that he died on impact. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like he so didn't have he, to suffer on the way. You know? You don't think he died in the air? No. Oh shit! Because like there was a video of somebody like it was basically a dude looking up at the whole shit, and he like caught like because the shit went down, but instead of going all the way down, you know, stopped like around like three quarters of the way, and then it stopped to go back up, mm -hmm. and that's when he, you know. They fucking pulled him right out, but it was. I think he definitely died on impact for sure. Man, you know that's that's the only positive. Part. I would have. I would have wish I had a heart attack in the air or something. That'd be even better. Yeah. yeah but <laughs> they, they said that uh, they're hoping that fucking they can sue him because they didn't have any waivers or anything uh, no. going on that ride. I'm, I'm pretty sure they're gonna. Um, that company's fucked. They're gonna try to buy out uh, his family. They're probably gonna try to get them a certain amount. Um, I mean, anything's better than nothing. So, I mean, I hope they give them something. Or other than not giving them nothing at all and having them take it to court. I, I hope they offer something to right. their family. Because uh, a life is worthless. Well, yeah, it's, it's, it's priceless. And, you know, so... I don't... Man, that's sad. There's nothing you can pay... To bring him back, so that's what I meant. Like, it's, yeah, it's nothing. No money in the world can make that shit right. Yeah, so if you just give something, man, like, but yeah, definitely changed my changed my outlook on riding yeah. roller coasters, all that shit. Yeah, I, I seen I seen one last year where um, it was the thing that goes around like this. Yeah, and um, I guess the carnival or something didn't have it bolted down all the way. And, the, and the shit like uh, it, it was tipping over. Yeah, it, and all the uh people at the park all the customers just ran over to it and held it yeah and made them stop the road i don't get on nothing yeah anymore, it, that shit was like whoa how is this shit like you see it yeah, it's unevenly just, fucking swaying yeah, yeah it's, it's not secure bro like i feel like it's just that unnecessary risk like it's 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 enjoyable to go on rides but if that shit is like you know risking your life yeah Chalk the fucking other shit. Let's ride the teacups another time. Let's, <laughs> let's ride. Let's let's ride the little sleds with the fucking with the, with the, let's with go, the haystacks. Let's, let's go to Disney World and get on the Jurassic Park ride. Stop. Yeah, let's let's Stop. go to a museum. Don't, don't really do some shit. Yeah, yeah, that's with that. That's just crazy. Yeah. But yeah, that shit and uh, the vaccine mandate is finally lifted in New York. I've seen that? Kyrie did you, did Irving. You get says, vaccinated? Nah, no, no. Okay. Kurt Kyrie Irving is still uh, pinching himself. I seen that. Yeah, that shit's crazy. I'm yeah. I'm surprised that he he literally held out this whole time. You know, like there were so many athletes, so many so many players that like I thought we were gonna do it. He's one person that I knew that wouldn't. Yeah. Um, Kyrie always been the type of player to stand behind what he believes in. Yeah. And he doesn't let nobody or anyone push him around. Um, even when he went to Cleveland, he was playing basketball, and they were like, uh, "How's it?" How's it feel to play without LeBron? And he was like, damn, I gave the city a fucking championship. Right. And, like, I still don't get the respect I deserve. So, if nobody, I, I believe they should respect him now because he, to, in my eyes, he changed the whole state law. Right. So, yeah, shout out to him, bro, for that. For um, real. Yeah, I mean, you just stand up for what you believe in, man. Like, certain, uh, it's, it's certain people like myself that had to get vaccinated because of the job field that we're in. Yeah. Um. But it's like that in Chicago yeah, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Certain certain jobs had to, and um, I didn't even get the second shot or anything. I yeah. just got the one shot. <laughs> like, yeah, I'm good. So it's there's. I mean, I always ask like, cause cause we had this conversation when uh, I was in Chicago, mm -hmm. and I'm over there, you know, pretty much just visiting my buddy Meath. Okay. And uh, we're going through the city and shit, and we're going to see our buddy in town in Chicago, mm -hmm. like in the heart of the city. So we're going down there and shit. He's like, "Y'all vaccinated, right?" I'm like, "Nah." He's like, "What?" He's like, y'all can't get in. Mm -hmm. I'm like, come on, man, we can get in. Yeah. He's like, no, nah, literally, like, you literally have to show your show your vaccination card or like, you know, show show them something, a picture of it on your on your phone or something. Yeah. I'm like, damn. Or you got to get tested like every week. Yeah. So I was like, shit. I mean, I said, let's just go there and fucking wing it. We can try to get in there. He's like, ain't no way you're gonna get in, bro. 
So I'm like, I just tell him my phone's dead. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> tell him my phone's dead. Like, yeah, I got my vaccination. Let me show you my phone. Oh, it's dead. You know, like. Yeah. So literally, we did that exact shit. It fucking worked. Dude, wow. was, dude was like, how you, how, how, how do you, why are you coming here? I was like, oh, we know Jason. He's like, oh, okay. So you know somebody here? Boom, let us in. My buddy Jason was like, you vaccinated? I'm like, hell no. He's like, damn, how'd you get in? I said, shit. <laughs> it is what it is. But he was literally like, they said that the reason that like. They require like them vaccinations like that to so keep mm. the keep the bore out. Okay. Yeah. It's crazy. That's I've never heard of that. Yeah. It's like in in uptown Chicago. It's like fancy fucking hooty tooty fucking you know your college people. Your I don't know if it's like Loyola. I don't know if it's you know some of those people, but but it's like that part of the city. I don't even know what the name of this uh, bar was, but yeah, it was crazy. I'm like, damn, you got fucking people paying. Forty fourteen dollars for nachos and they're fucking tiny. Wow. Do a little spot in Chicago where they overcharge. Yeah. But yeah, it was just like shit like that. I was like, damn, this shit's really like strict in certain areas. Mm-hmm. I can just imagine how it is in New York. Yeah, you know I heard it's real strict. I heard it was real strict in New York, and I heard it was real strict in L.A. Yeah, San Francisco area. Yeah. You know? I heard it was real strict out there. Yeah, just but Georgia. I mean, they don't. They didn't care. They were just walking around, no masks, all that. Type of right. Stuff. We do got to be safe about it, too, because some people are still getting it. So I, I do believe in, like, certain areas where it's, a, like, amongst a lot of people we should have, like, masks and stuff. Right. Because oh, I, sure. I am one of the victims who caught COVID. Yeah. And was sick as hell. Yeah, I had it when, uh, it, like, I think it shit came out, like, 2020, uh-huh. 19, but it was really, like, 20 that it was popping. It took me two years to get it. Damn. Yeah, I I you didn't have that it. Shit for a minute. Yes, bro. Like I was avoiding the hell out of it, and I got it like, um, twenty twenty two, the top of the year. Yeah. Yep, I got it right after Christmas, and I was sick as a dog. I lost smell, I lost taste, and everything. But I uh, I learned some tricks on TikTok, man. I burnt an orange. Orange. Yeah. What's that do? It brings the taste and your smell back. What? Instantly. You burn an orange in a, in a cast iron skillet, and once you burn it, and while it's hot, you, you almost like burn it to a crisp. While it's hot, you put it, and you, oh yeah, and you put brown sugar on it. What? Bro, I put it in my mouth instantly. My smell just overpowered, just like boom, and came back in my mouth, and my nose opened up. Bro, you should you should have made a TikTok about this. Bro, shit. I swear, it's a whole bunch of it's it's all over YouTube. Damn. Yeah, it's a lot of people doing it. That's some fucking home remedy like to a yeah. motherfucker. Oranges, tea. oranges, burnt oranges with brown sugar on it bring your taste and smell back. Damn. Yep. So anybody out there with COVID and is suffering and have longevity of uh like no taste and smell, a burnt orange with brown sugar will instantly bring your taste back. Man, that's why. Because I, I, I lost my taste in the middle of eating. Because I knew I was sick, but I, I lost my taste in the middle of eating. My mom had made some beef stew. And I was sitting there eating it. And I was like, what the fuck? I can't taste now. Like, this tastes like water. Yeah. And I, I just kept eating. I kept trying to eat. I could not taste anything. I couldn't taste it. So, I burnt that orange. He was, he was desperate, probably. I don't know. Ten man. seconds. Damn. Ten seconds. And it went from like zero percent smelling. Damn. Ten seconds. That's crazy. As you're cooking the orange, that citrus, you're gonna smell it. You yeah. go, it's gonna start smelling. You're like, I can smell that. And then when you taste it, it's really gone. Now it's not the best taste in the world. There's something like after the fact you just want to eat, but yeah. Hey, it does a job. Definitely does. Medicine's a job. like goddamn taking shots of fucking liquor. Yep. Five o'clock vodka shit. It's terrible. Yep. Yeah, Georgia's Georgia's gonna be hot right now. De- definitely with them coming off that championship. Yeah, bro, I can't wait. Yeah, it's just gonna be. Nuts. I actually was just there. Um, I had a couple meetings there, and um, it was beautiful. Yeah, the whole football season, y'all. Yeah. Everyone's talking about Georgia. Will they repeat? It's gonna be crazy. Yeah. <clears throat> Are you a dogs fan? Not really. You, not really any any sports. Yeah. Well, no, just basketball. Just basketball. Yeah. You what, know, I love LeBron, man. Yeah, I feel like we was talking about LeBron the other day, and mm-hmm. like the whole fucking MJ versus LeBron go on. Oh so, my god! And like I watched this, I watched this uh, like snippet of like uh, Draymond Green. I don't know if you heard it, but he literally was like, you know, comparing comparing those two is almost like 
you know, comparing fucking companies like Apple or Google. You know what I'm saying? Like, we don't say Amazon is a better company than Google. We don't mm-hmm. say Apple is a better company than uh, Microsoft. Yeah. We just appreciate all of them as what they are. I just, I just like, I've seen them both. You know what I'm saying? I, I came up as a kid watching Jordan. And then I came up as a teenager to now watching LeBron. Right. And, bro, I'm going to just be honest. i never seen anything like LeBron James. Facts. Uh, Kobe Bryant reminded me of Jordan a lot. But I've never seen nobody like LeBron James. Nobody who scores the way he do in the unique style that he has of passing the ball, rebounding the ball, defense, off the court, no trouble. Right. Never been in trouble. You never heard any cheating scandals on his wife or anything like that. No. Nothing. It's literally a public public icon. Nothing. And Steph Curry, greatest shooter I've ever seen. So ever, <laughs> ever. I thought Ray Allen. Uh, Yo, I, I I really thought that like Clay was gonna come back balling. I really did, especially after that first uh, game. I knew, I knew. Like, bro, these are everything. Yeah. Um, I don't. I'm gonna be honest. I don't believe that the Splash Brothers is gonna like last. You think they're over? Oh yeah, they. I believe tra- like they gonna end up trading Clay. Yeah. I believe. I, I believe they'll trade Clay before they trade Draymond. Yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah, Draymond really is the heart and soul of that shit. Yeah, he's definitely the voice of this. And he's from Saginaw too. So yeah. shout out Draymond Green, man. He's definitely yep. Yep, he's definitely the voice of it. And um, the more and more I watch the growth. Of him, the more and more I start liking him. Oh yeah, he's yeah. definitely gonna be like an NBA executive or yeah. some type of front, some type of front office. I like, I like he, how he's moving off the court too. Like they got him doing like the podcast, TV shows, yep. and all that type of stuff. I'm like, wow, how is he even having time? Yeah, but he's getting Makes it done. Makes it work. Yeah, he's getting it done. Facts. Yeah. We got we got another song to play. What you want to hear? Let's play. Uh, Let's play high note. Let's play high note for him. Oh, you want a grown man shit too, project? Yeah, yeah. We're gonna play a little bit. Play a little bit of it, you know. I got uh, that song. We got we got stay out. Yeah. We got uh, so wet coming. Okay, that's on the first project. Yeah. Sweet love. Yes. Yeah, oh man. We gonna we gonna play a couple of them. A couple of them. You said how long? Got you. You're not on the right side of music, but he does. Yeah. Check this shit out, man. So, 
a grown man shit too. Mm-hmm. So your first your first project was Return of Mac Jovi. Yep. So talk about talk about the growth from the start to grown man shit too. You know, like what do you if, if if motherfuckers wasn't able to dissect it from the outside, you know, what is something that you want them to know that you know, like from the from the growth. The return of Mac Jovi was an album that I was trying to prove myself. Yeah. Um, it was proving myself that, um, cause I was in a group called Almost Famous and I always felt like the underdog in my in my group. Yeah. And the return of Mac Jovi was something just to prove myself saying like, yo, I can do this shit. Almost Famous, is, is they still do music? No, well, each one of them are still doing music. But everybody's just doing their own thing. It's, it was us three, yeah. Originally, uh, Don Trell and Teron Coleman. So we all um, actually went our own separate ways, and Don Trell ended up getting in another group, and Teron ended up doing his own thing, and then I ended up doing my own thing, and I just kept going. And um, me proving myself was like, yo, I can still do this. I can write my own music. I can record my own Some music. Some fire shit. Yeah, I can produce my own music. And Return of Mac Jovi just was like that. It was me proving who I am and I'm returning like to claim my shit. So the return of the Mac Jovi was like that. Then I came with the, um, what was it, the grown man? The grown Bang man, man shit? Yeah, grown man one. My homeboy, Bang Bro G hit me up and we collabed on that. That was like fire. Have you worked with him prior to that? Oh yeah, uh, well no, 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 I didn't. We didn't. So it was just kind of like off the screen. Actually, the actually, we did one song together for his project on Dumbass 2. Yeah. So we did one song. And after we felt what we did with that one song, we were like, yo, we got to keep this going. So we did a whole project. You know, man, shit. And when we did it, I was like, still proving myself and like, still like, yo, I can do this with still rappers. Got a lot of shit to say. And boom, 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 boom. And I did that. When the Summon the Fuck 2 came out, I was like, oh, yeah, that's it. Like, Y'all know who Y'all know who the fuck I am. Y'all know who I am and that that's something to fuck to put a stamp. Something to fuck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. To. That that put a stamp on it and it's like, yo, Giovanna top R and B cat around here. And um I just kept going and then I, I released the Fuckboy Fall EP. Just to throw a little something else out there so they wouldn't be waiting too long. And then the grown man shit too. And now it's just like the maturity of it is like, yo, y'all know who I am, man. Yeah. Y'all know what I'm doing and y'all know I can do this shit. And now, I got the Thoughts and Feelings coming out. I got the Thoughts and Feelings project coming Summertime, out. Summertime, man. Thoughts yeah. and Feelings. Hey, get yeah. ready for that shit. I'm ready yeah. for it. That shit's... I'm already pre-ordering that shit in my fucking head. Bro, that shit gonna be fire, bro. That's lit. Yep. I don't know. I I, I mean, it could be a grown man shit three. Yeah? It could be. They said it could It could happen. It could happen. Hey. It could happen. That's that's lit, man. I love I love the fact that, like, you know, the, the projects keep coming. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, definitely. Like, you, you almost like to see it's like... It's like one of them, like... Uh, the, it's like a movie, you know. Yeah. What I'm saying? The movie's so good, you got to see it too. Yeah. The movie's so good, you got to get a three. You know what I'm saying? I don't so, know how long I'm gonna keep doing it. Though. Yeah, I feel that. Um, Cause I actually want to stop though. I'm not gonna lie. I actually want to focus more on the business side of life. Um, maybe keep writing for other people. Um, maybe keep engineering for other people, producing for other people. But um, I am gonna take a break sooner. Focus on some yeah. other stuff, yeah. Yeah, focus on some other stuff. I ain't gonna take a break, but that thoughts and feelings, um, I really want people to listen to this project because it's my thoughts and it's my feelings. Yeah. Um, and it's everything that um, I'm feeling right now. Do you, do you feel that like when people listen to your music, that's the best way they get to know you? Yeah, in a sense, yeah, you get to know me. A lot of women or, you know what I'm saying? They think I'm free, so right. <laughs> as I seen you hey, both say, he, he, he makes a lot of R and B hits. Yeah, I like a lot of R and B. I, I like it. <laughs> so it I is what that. it is. I sing about love, and I def, I always sing about sex. Yeah, so thoughts and feelings are a little different. It's yeah. singing about a lot more. You know what I'm saying? It's singing about my father passing. I'm singing about love. I'm singing about sex. I'm singing about it was real deep shit. Stuff. Yeah, it's, it's a lot. It's a lot on this one. How many how many tracks are we expecting? I don't know. Oh shit! Hey, I'm still recording. More the motherfucking merrier, man. I'm still we, we really, really got to hear some more of this motherfucking music. I'm this, still recording. I can only imagine how how this entire tape is going to yeah, be special. I can, I can tell you some of the artists that's going to be on there. 
Oh shit. Um, I got HBK Boom on there. Um, of course, you know the One Take, Sauce Guy Sensei, Zay Diz that you heard on Sneaky Link. I got Messy ENT on there. Um, female group out of Saginaw. Okay. Um, I got Tay Row on there. Um, Bank Ro- yeah, he was he was on uh, a handful of your yeah, songs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tay Row's going to be on there. Bank Row G is going to be on there, of course. Um, and I got some more special guests coming, man. So I just want to give y'all a few names. Hell yeah. Who's going to be on the album. Hell so, yeah. yeah. It's going to be big. Yeah, it's going to be a big one. Speaking of uh, HBK Boom, we mm-hmm. uh, we actually have his DJ, uh, DJ Campus Legend. Yeah. He's going to be the DJ at uh, Tri-City Vintage. Shout out to Campus Legend, man. He, yeah. I remember when we used to play basketball together at the YMCA and stuff like that before people knew he was a DJ. He was just Philly. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He was uh, just a cool dude to be around. So it's, it's, it's dope to see other people in my city where we came up from. And what we're doing now. So, yeah, shout out to all them. Shout out to HBK Boom. Shout out to Campus Legend, man. Yeah, it's going to be lit. It's going to be lit. Yeah. I'm definitely excited to have him on board because we, we got, man, this whole summer, I'm telling them, Campus, you better jump on the board. You better be down to ride the whole summer. So, yeah. this wave is going to be hot. And he's still, I know he's still working with Sunny Digital. Yeah, Sunny Digital yeah. and HBK yeah. Boom. Yeah. It's, it's crazy. You know, like I'm learning, I'm learning about all these other names, you know, like mm-hmm. slowly but surely. You know what I'm saying? So, it's definitely, it's definitely dope to, you know, see this shit full circle. You know oh, what I'm definitely. saying? From the you're outside right. looking in. And then you're from right. the inside looking out. Yep, you're right. But yeah, I think, uh, I think we got to play, play another track for him. Okay. Uh, I'll let you, I'll let you, you know, we got You Say, Spanish Girl, uh, Stay Out, Sand So Wet, No Small Change, or Sweet Love. That Ooh. sweet love is fire. That sweet love. That sweet love was one of my first songs that I did off the return of Mac Joey. Yeah, recorded. let's play that shit. That shit. That shit is so gas. That shit's off yeah. his off his first track. One of my favorites. Yeah. Uh, I think just a uh, sample to uh, H Town knocking the boots. No, it was. Yeah, that's the, that's why you like it so much. Yeah, that shit was fire, dude. That shit was. I'm cool. some somebody Give me that. 
songs I did for a long time. I'm gonna start listening to that again. You gotta listen to the whole discography. That bag is fucking deep. Damn, bro. That song was fired. And I, that was produced by my homeboy, uh, T-Beats and uh, The Real Gym that I mentioned earlier. They both produced that together for me, man. And shout out to Radio Royalty for helping me write that, my man, uh, Night Five, man. Yeah. Damn, man. That shit was... Yo, oh. if, 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 uh, <laughs> so, I'll tell you what. I got I got a fifteen minute uh, set where I can include you in the volume if you mm -hmm. if you interested that might be one of the songs you might have to play. <laughs> that's, oh, that's just fire! That's just fire! I, 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 bro, fun fact is I never performed that song ever. Before. Ever. Oh man, we might have to make it a first. I man. never might performed have to make that first. song before. That shit's hot, dude. That shit. Damn. That shit's a banger. That's crazy. Yeah. That's crazy. I right, thanks thanks for reminding me about that song, bro. I haven't listened to that song in so long. Bro. I try I try to collect a little <laughs> bit of like my favorites, you know. What like, else what else you got on that list? Yeah, let's 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 bang that stay out, man. Let's bang stay that out, stay out. Okay, stay out was a, a dope track that yeah. me, me and Bank Roji wrote together, okay. Yeah, that's that shit was fire. And it uh, got the baby boy sample in there. It's so Fucking exclusive, man. We're gonna let let you uh, react to uh, one of the songs that I think is I think is fire. Is it on Apple Music? Yep, on Apple Music. It's uh, RSM BZ. He just got his new tape on the way. The song's uh, called Soul, but the tape is called Two Hundred Eight to Eight One Six. How do you spell his name? Uh, RSM mm -hmm. and then BZ B E E Z Y. And you say it's called uh, Soul. Soul. Yeah. The RSM. Yep, RSM. Uh, here, I got you. Okay, yeah, it's fine for me. That's pretty dope. Yeah, this is just a little track right here. Okay. Which one on here? Yeah, that's Soul. But yeah, this is, uh, man, every every time I hear, like, RSM, I think of, you know, Top. You know, this, uh, he's an artist in uh, local, 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 just, man, he was, he was on a big shit. Okay. He was on real, real big shit. He was, he was, he was killed outside of it was a Jamie's back in the day. It's like an A one tire shop now, but we yeah, check, man, we check him out. Man. So whenever you hear him, uh, whenever you hear him say like top or top swirl, I don't have to listen, man. Real shit, man. That shit is the hardest shit for my soul, dude. Just thinking about my son, I'm 
boy is flawless. And yeah, I'm popping all these pressure, they got me feeling nauseous. Get in my bag, get in my zone, what I've been on. Stay sucker free, but they can't get up with three. Know that city hate you if you're sure. Don't fuck with me, it ain't no debate. And if it's love, then you can thug with me. Coming on the corner, keep it pressing out. Feed the streets, split the pros and then repeat. I throw the use up in a piece. All I ask is if you keep the street. And keep them hoes up a bottom of beef. Feel like they keep my souls when they come up bros. Some pain I can't let go. No. Feel like they keep my souls when they come up bros. Some pain I can't let go. No. Niggas don't fuck with you for real. That's why I'm clutching on this steel. I'm on my grind, know it's my time, bitch. I can't wait to see a meal. I know the love ain't really pure. I just be moving out in that field. People fake they playing roles. That's not just how I feel. Stay in my lane, smoke me a wood. I just sit back. Chill. Don't text my phone, bitch, what you want? I'm my best interest, move along, you niggas hoes We send us for free, hunting if you owe a fee Speaking fluent with this pain, I'm knowing it won't be the same Feel like they keep my souls, when they come up bros Some pain I can't let go, no Feel like they keep my souls, when they come up bros Some pain I can't let go, no Feel like they keep my souls, when they come up bros Some pain I can't let go, no Some pain I can't let go. No. Street money, okay. Real street money, yeah. They've been, they've been, they've been doing that thing. They've been, they've been getting a check for a minute, you know. So okay, definitely, yeah, definitely, good, man. Yeah. yeah, I fuck with RMC and BZ. So uh, yeah, man, y'all make sure y'all follow him too. All my followers and shit like that, man. Y'all can follow and check them out, man. Uh, they got a whole project on here, so yeah, it's definitely yeah. two uh two oh six to eight eight sixteen two two oh eight to eight sixteen yeah two oh eight yeah yes yes. Definitely, definitely check it out. There's, there's a couple songs that uh, RSM Top, aka Taylor, uh, he's got, man, he's got a few projects on there as well. So if you ever hear in, you know, Top's world, hey, it's RIP Top, you know, yeah. RSM Top, yeah, much, right. much, much love, man. Um, but yeah, talk about, talk about the process of like creating music. Do you ever, do you, do you feel that like you need the beat? Then you write to it, or does it? You write to something, and you you find a beat that matches it. Um, or does it switch? It's it's really for me. Like I, I play the beat first, and uh, cause I don't write as much as I used to. I really freestyle track. Yeah. Um. So. Man, it's even more special. Yeah. So when I <laughs> when I hear a beat and I get a melody going, and once I hear get that melody going, then I start putting words to it. Yeah. Um. Sometimes I can't get it at all. Though. Sometimes I have to chill out. I might have a writer's block for like a month. Damn. Mm hmm. What, what, what do you, what, is, how do you experience, like, what do you go through when you experience that? I can't do nothing. Nothing? Damn. It takes somebody else to come to the studio to help open up my mind. Like, right. a, like a Becca. Becca will come over and uh, we'll start listening to more stuff and she'll start telling me what she's been feeling and what she, and then it, clicks, it. it'll click back on. But if I'm by myself, and I got like this feeling, and it's won't like liquor or anything won't help. Yeah. <laughs> I'll be like, I'll get the beat, and I'll be, I'll just go lay down. Just bro. go crazy. Yeah, don't force it. Yeah. Don't ever force writing because it's going to come out trash. Yeah. So don't ever force it. Just give yourself some time and, you know, yeah. rejuvenate and come back. That's real. That's what I do. I just yeah, I've, I've, I've never been able, obviously, to experience the writer's block, but yeah. I, I can definitely imagine, you know, going oh, fucking stir crazy with that yeah, shit. Yeah, bro. Like, I, sometimes it just don't work, and then sometimes my music sucks to me. Yeah. It, it just sucks. I'm like, this don't even sound good. Like, I'm not even feeling it. But then you got songs like Fuckboy Fall and um, the Sweet Love that you played, you know. You say that just naturally just yeah they hit comes out and it's just like flowing and I'm just like damn how that like sometimes it works like that some some songs just come out like certified bangers yep like the, the song on um grown man shit too that I got called love songs yeah 
it was just one of them nights I was just vibing with my uh, my homeboy Bank Road G and my brother was here from out of town, Juan Elgato, and um, it just happened. It just started. I we just played played the beat and it just started coming and I was just like, mm -hmm. play the, let's play that shit. Yeah. Like let's it just it. it just kind of like happened for me like and I was like wow it's like, like a masterpiece being being painted. Yep, it just played. The right colors and the right fucking paintbrushes and a little little sponge here and there to get the textures right. Just happened. I caught like probably four of them, yeah. four, four or five of them. Yeah. I wasn't, I wasn't on like to start like obviously everybody knows that Jay Holiday put them. To bed. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. That shit was like that was iconic, a real song. iconic yeah. for getting some coochie back in the day, like <laughs> for real. We was in high school then. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that was that was like you played that song like I'm trying to put you to bed, even though you had no idea what that shit meant. Yeah, yeah. Shit was wild, man. Yeah. But yeah, this is uh, it's definitely definitely needed, man. Like I said, uh, I think the. Let's see the inch the time slot. If you down, it would be six to six fifteen right before Becca Baby in uh, okay. Eastside Arcade. Okay. Yeah, so uh, that's April tenth, Sunday, April tenth. It's gonna be yeah. Crazy. We definitely try to make it happen, man. Yeah. I appreciate you coming through for me, though, man. man. Really? Like I said, y'all, make sure yeah. you go fucking tap in. Yeah. Make sure you follow. Make sure you just, man, just get ready, cause yeah. if you haven't fucking noticed, this man's a real, real fucking talent. And he's bouncing, because that's what fucking the greats do when they want to fucking blow the fuck up. Yeah. And I, I, I'm excited to see where the business goes. I'm excited. To, I appreciate you know, that, bro. All that shit, man. Yeah. So let me know. Let me, we'll definitely, like I said, I'm going to be coming down there, because I know the, the thrift game is going to be crazy. Oh, yeah, it. yeah. We're going to do that, definitely. So I definitely am about to come visit, man. Y'all will definitely see way more of uh, of Mac and myself on the, on the show. Yeah. Just, yeah. Just stay tuned. Get ready. Episode 71. Mac Joe. Damn, that's episode seven. Last time I was on it was episode thirty one. Yeah. Thirty. Yeah, it's, it's yeah. and we've been we've been working, man. Yeah, definitely. Just that's just up. constantly constantly yeah. just trying to, you know, just showcase the you know the, the shit that people ain't doing. Yeah, you definitely. Know? Yeah. Yeah. Just a matter of time. Just yes, a matter sir. of time. Yes, sir. But yeah. One let's put let's play uh one song to roll us out. No small change? Yeah, I think so. That that sounds like a plan. Shout out to 
Shout out to Bank Royal G. Man, whole grown man shit. Make sure you blow in the comments. Say grown man shit three. Put it into the fruition. For real. Bank nigga, we can do it, man. Bank nigga, we can do it, man. We gon' put that heat with that heat and make a explosion. You know what I'm saying? All these diamonds on the nigga dance, the bitch don't even be hooked. You know what I'm saying? Hooked, dumbass. Motherfucking thing, R&B bangers, hey, left or right, get the bitch going.